I'm sorry, Miss Jackson. Oh, the gaslighting's real. Never meant for this thing to come out. I cheated on you a trillion times. Allegedly. A lot of videos have been made about this already, but I'm gonna look at it from a different angle and bring my input which is quite different than a lot of things that i've seen so please stay tuned till the end of this video if you haven't been living under a rock you will know that derek jackson the relationship guru here on youtube has been trending all over social media he's in the tablet he's in the newspapers he's everywhere everybody all over the world has been talking about this guy because he's a relationship guru but he has been found to have been cheating he's alleged um, side chicks went to unwind with Tasha K here on YouTube and bared all and so now the whole world knows this is his apology video with his wife and we're just gonna address some things that I caught on to so stay tuned what's going on guys Derek Jackson here and today I'm joined by my lovely wife Danea and we just wanted to address a couple of things you know we understand that some of you may have already heard maybe not um, that this chapter of our marriage is one that was preceded by marriage that I completely failed. And I would say it just started around August, maybe September of last year. Wait a minute. So a few things, a lot of things, right? Um, just, just looking at the whole screen, a lot of people were saying, why is she having a bonnet on her head? It turns out not to be a bonnet, it's like a knitted, um, you know, uh, thingy-me-jiggy for the head. And then obviously, you know, sis is, you know, ah, this is sad. Lord knows what he has put her through. She's going through maybe a little bit of acne or whatever, or maybe it's acne scarring. Hey, I'm not one to talk about these things because I suffer from acne. So it is what it is. Um, if, if everybody could have their way, they would have clear skin. It is what it is. Then she's wearing just a very plain thing uh, on top. Um, and yeah, some jeans. I mean, she's, she's not looking what people would typically say camera ready which is interesting because there are pictures of the late side chicks and they look nothing like this lady now not to say this woman is not pretty i never come on this channel and be talking about people's looks and stuff like that because people cannot do anything about their looks this woman to me she's pretty it's it's a different type of aesthetic than the woman that he cheated on which is very interesting right not everybody is the same there's different types of beauty but she she just looks different and besides all that this is the first time that we have ever ever seen this woman now she has an instagram it's public she has about fifty-five thousand people on there and the interesting thing is that um i think maybe those fifty-five thousand people came because they they somehow found out that this is his wife probably or maybe it's the biblical things that she posts on there and people find it very inspiring and they want to go and look at it i don't know how she got them followers there but you know he's in there somewhere sprinkled around her instagram but on his instagram it's mostly just him 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 and him so nobody ever knew of this woman's existence which is interesting because if we're talking about all this relationship advice what people usually do is like oh and here's my wife of 12 years or we've been together 12 years or stuff like that right apparently they're high school sweethearts or is it college whatever in any case they've known each other for a long 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 time before he had all these riches and all his fame it's just a bit interesting that you wouldn't boast about the woman you know that you've been able to get this woman to be your own due to your mindset towards relationships right because usually that's what people do you know so that's rather odd but let's get right on into it but you know a lot has been said already about what was the cause and all that other stuff some of it is true some of it is completely false and i'm also going to point out the thing that a lot of people have said the way he's clenching this woman's hand for dear life and yeah it's it's just it's a lot all all the way you know why not put the hands in the middle her hand at some point you see and i'm pointing this out now so you look at it at the rest of the video her hand is completely stretched and she looks she looks sad even though she's here supposedly supportive but she looks sad deep inside if you look at her eyes she looks sad but the truth is and i'm saying it here now is that derrick jackson was involved with other women who is derrick jackson is it not you outside the marriage and by involved i want to be clear i'm not talking about just casually kicking it maybe a lunch or something like that i'm talking about as serious as yeah so then he goes on to kind of list eh? is either to have the tan 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 is either to do this is either to that and the woman is just sitting there with nowhere to run with her hand just clenched like that this is just sad that i cannot build a platform preaching certain things preaching against certain things and then in my real life live contrary to that no you sure can't but that is exactly what you were doing let you know where we're at with that but you want to say anything um, yeah so i do want to just add that <laughs> it somehow looked like it's like yo you want to say anything it, it, it looked 
mm, I don't know, man. I don't know. The thing is, you don't want to speak on other people's relationship. We're not there. We don't have a clue. But from what we're seeing from this video, it looks like a very abuse relationship. Like, it doesn't look, at this point, healthy. You're seeing the woman sitting there. She doesn't look like she's, she's having a good old funky time. I mean, nobody would. But she looks sad. And then it's, the words coming out of her mouth is not matching the look in her eyes. I agree with what he just said. There is no justification for bringing other women into our marriage. Honestly. Say it and say it loud. And it was unacceptable. And it's not something that I tolerate or that we tolerate moving forward. And when I, I've been flooded again with messages and these things and about, you know, I need to leave or why haven't I left. And leave this woman alone. She, she has family, no? She has family. People should stop flooding her messages because if you go to her Instagram, you scroll way, 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 way down. People are commenting on her old stuff, talking about him. What has she got to do with this mess? See, this is, this is the stuff. It doesn't make any sense. Leave her alone. And if she wants to stay in this relationship, that's on her. And the answer is, when I found out about it, I left. I did not hesitate or waste time to do so. Mm -hmm. And I stayed gone. No matter how many times he came, I stayed gone and stood firm on i am not coming back and i did not come back until i until what a shift and a change in his mentality so this is not something that uh is new <laughs> we have this is not something that's new that little chuckle <laughs> she has been through it he has put her through it they've been through this just it was off camera she's had to bear the pain of all this herself and possibly with other family members or whoever but ultimately she's the one in this marriage she's the one who has to hold her head up high these people have kids you know i think they have two kids or something like that i don't know how many but even if they had a kid this is serious I've moved forward from it we have gotten counsel from for it and, and this is the interesting part you see people who are relationship gurus it's like what I always used to think about pastors. They're there saying, be motivated and this and that, and God is on your side, and this is how you're gonna get through this hurdle and that hurdle and that hurdle. Don't remember to have faith. And they're putting all this positive energy into the whole congregation and actually feeling the energy of the congregation as well, right? You can feel that. You can actually feel the hurt. You, 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 you feel it, right? The hurt of people, the sadness of people, and they come to church to find hope again and to, you know, to hear the truth, right? Hmm. Well, these pastors are spinning all this realness, but who is counseling them? Who is helping them? Who is praying for them? They're always praying for other people, praying for other people, praying for other people. And throughout the years, we've seen that, hey, a lot of these pastors are not, they're not saints either. They go through stuff as well. They cheat too. They do a whole bunch of stuff. So how did we get there? Okay, other than the fact that uh, they're human beings, but you know who is guiding them because they're in these positions that the temptation is also real believe it or not some women out here chase pastors <laughs> it is what it is right and this guy in the position that he's in you can tell that you know a lot of women would want to be at his feet maybe that's why we never saw her you know he had to remain this image of eligible bachelor I remember even back in the day, I used to wonder. So you're giving all this relationship advice, you're going to all these places, shows, events, whatever. Even celebrities know you. I've even seen them on CNN. Um, where's your wife at? Not knowing that all this while, wow, all these years, over a decade, you had a whole wife sitting there. That's crazy. So today, where I'm at is at peace, and I probably stand by his side. And I Don't be too zen now. Don't be too zen that you don't see what's going on. Please. Please, if you need to snap out of something, please snap. Snap or we will snap you out of it, madam. This is, I don't know. A lot of women, and especially Christian women, will take somebody back. For All is forgiven and stuff like that. But it's the way she's sitting there that would lead, peop lead people to believe that mm -mm, something ain't okay. I have no hesitation. I have no hurt, no shame about that and it's only because of the apparently and also she did another video she has no shame about how she has presented herself in this video you know people were talking about her appearance and you know if you cheated on on multiple women why would you let your wife then come just looking like it's a regular uh tuesday you know 
why not get her all glammed up because if you go to her instagram she knows how to glam up okay dress nice and all of that but you you allowed her to come like this meanwhile you're sitting there with your muscles all bulging and everything you know so but she says she doesn't care about all that and i understand that i understand not feeling that pressure to really do too much to yourself in front of the camera you know i make youtube videos i have sometimes deliberately come on here with a hat on with my hair not all the way did and yeah you know like i said i'm an acne sufferer so sometimes you'll see me with makeup sometimes you won't because look you can do what you want to do you're not going to be pretty for everybody so you can do all that mess and put three kilos of makeup on your face and whatnot and wear a dress and somebody will say your boobs are saggy your boobs are like this your stomach is big it's not big that dress doesn't suit you that color is not good for you somebody's always going to complain about something so if he if it was a spur of the moment thing and he was like hey babes let's come and do this video and she was like uh now he's like yeah. oh well do it and get it over with because hey the damage control had to be done and the wife was used as a convenient prop of god and the mercy of god I forgave him. So nothing can be done without that. That's true. But you know, anyway, let's continue listening. And most importantly, God has first forgiven him. And I also forgive the others as well. Hey, and who are the others? Wow. This is actually, wow, the others. Well, we know about two, allegedly. But who? Who and who and who? I, I get it. Some of y'all, like this may come as a huge shock. Probably a huge. Now, from this point, I want you to take notice of something else. His demeanor, his entire demeanor, I don't get it. I don't get it. He's so lazidesco about it. He's just there chilling. Do you see remorse in this guy's eyes? No. Like he's too comfortable. I don't know how long they've been through this, that they've been able to just talk about it anyhow. I don't know how much the woman has consoled him or told him or led him to believe that, ah, don't worry about it. It will never happen again though. But all is forgiven and it's okay because all is forgiven. And of course, you're not gonna, you don't have to give somebody hell over something like this forever in a day, constantly be all up in their face because they need to leave. They need to leave the relationship. Ain't no point. The way he's so comfortable, you see that throughout, he's just talking about this like this is a business meeting, like this is some conference call and he's explaining something, like this is one of his videos in his car. And now come to think about it, why is he always in his car? Where is you going, number one? And number two, who are you hiding from? I mean, I've thought about filming in a car before and then I was like, yeah, because some people said, oh, sometimes, you know, the acoustics is good, depending. You know, you sit in there, you don't hear much of the outside world if you're in a quiet place. But, um, where are you going? How do these YouTubers that film in the car, where are they going? Because some of them aren't moving, they're just in the car. Who are you running from, sir? <laughs> Why aren't you in your house? You got a nice house from the looks of things. But you never do these videos in your house. Is it because you don't want your wife to hear the nonsensical nonsense that you're going to be spitting on these YouTube streets? Hmm, peculiar. Disappointment, I let a lot of you down. Um, you know, if you've had a perspective shift on who Derek is, hopefully it's away from anything remotely close to perfection. And it's simply that, you know, I am a human and that does not justify anything that I did. But I don't want anybody out there to be putting me on a pedestal. If ha! Well, that's one thing. That damage has already been done. So this guy used to talk about, if the man does this, he ain't worth it. If the man does that, he ain't worth it. Oh yeah, his relationship was always about, you know, bigging up women. Some would say pandering. Big enough women, hey, don't leave, just don't stay in this, you're better than that, you're a queen, you're this, but his own queen sitting there, he didn't know what to do with her. And my thing is, and I've said this in another video that I did, everybody cheats, um, but you gotta know how, or something like that, because it's that song, everybody cheats, but you gotta know how, you gotta know when. Ain't nobody gotta cheat. If you want to be with other people, just go, or you be very open about it, tell this woman, Tell the other women so at least people know whose juices is being shared with who and then if people have a moral code you hear them say oh bet i'm out of here because i'm not doing that you want to be out here with this that 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 mm -mm, i'm gone right but people are not honest about it and yes everything you've said over the years seems very disingenuous right about now because you did the same thing you didn't have the mercy to see other other guys do you didn't have the mercy or grace for other guys that did this but meanwhile 
not only have you done this, you were probably doing it at the same time you were telling other people that they were low down for doing it. How does that work? How do you feel? How do you look yourself in the mirror? How, how, and how? I wanna know. And I hate that you did that. Maybe I gave you cause for that and I apologize if I did. Oh yeah, about the putting him on a pedestal. Oh yeah, people will, these, these YouTube channels are not just there for nothing. Some people will actually follow the advice and leave their significant other. Some people will change their entire life, the course of their entire life because of watching these random people who do not know you on YouTube. It's wild, but it's true. Um, for those who are saying, Derek, I don't want to ever listen to you again, it's totally understandable. I appreciate you while I had your support and helping me get the message out about healing and healthy relationships to so many people who needed it, myself included. And for those who are going to continue to support, man, I appreciate you like never before because I know is Yeah, because you know that now people know, like a lot of people have been saying, they know you for the streets. You know, now ladies know, oh, well, so now we know that he does have a wife. But she don't look like me. Fake titties, fake booty, fake this, fake that. Everything showing. She's not modest like this chick. See, the beauty in this woman is that she's modest. That's one of the beauty that we can see anyway, that I can see. But these other chicks, they're not modest. Everything's hanging out. That's why I say there's a difference. Now, now that these women, these loose women, know that you are also loose, yes, a lot of people will support you. Even more people may support you now because now they know they have a chance. They know they have a chance with you. They can, they can, they can twist your mind into thinking, ah, but I saw your wife. That's not good enough. You need all this. You need it on display, baby. You need it on display. Yeah, there's people like that. There's women like that. It's a shame. I want to be easy. Nothing works until it comes into alignment with biblical standard of how God told us to do things, especially when we're talking about a marital, spiritual, a spiritual covenant. True. I never knew this guy was Christian because he used to curse up a storm in his videos. I mean, curse up a storm in there and say stuff like D word and stuff like that. It's just not very, hmm, let's say. Let me just say, you wouldn't talk to your pastor like that, so you shouldn't talk like that at all. Period. Point blank, period. But you know, people like to do selective Christianity, so it is what it is. But, hey, your relationship with God, it's not for me to judge. You know, um, it is what it is. That's between you and him. But it becomes mm, interesting when people start adding Christianity into things like this, right? It really does. It really just does, because what you're gonna do is you're gonna make it that um you know it's always convenient god to the rescue you know and this is when christianity if used in a funny way can keep you in bondage i don't think god wants you to be in a relationship that's that's maybe doomed to fail or which the other party is not serious it's happened for years according to him it's happened for years for how long are you going to wait for this person to change that's my real question because the covenant you made before god your wedding vows is being broken on a daily basis when he's thinking about these other people and how he's going to meet them and how he's going to sleep with them it is broken on a daily basis what's godly about that yes that is not in alignment with what god wants exactly yeah it's not and yet you choose or chose let's hope it's a thing of the past to do this every single day to live this life every single day why this is when people look at christians funny i'm telling you they look at christians funny it's like uh i thought y'all weren't supposed to do i thought y'all had the self-control to not do that so what makes you different than me what makes you different than me i spoke about that in the kirk franklin video that i did what makes you different than me? You cannot do this by your own understanding, your own intelligence, yeah. your own willpower. Oh, oh no, we know God is all up in this thing. We know God is up in this thing because this woman would not be sitting there next to you as all the, 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 the veins in her hands are being squashed by this, your muscular hands. Oh, she would not be able to sit there. She would not be able to, if not for the grace of God. This is a woman who is so zen that we are all looking at her in amazement and slight concern because it is just out of the ordinary. It's extraordinary. Oh, there's something up in this thing. But, uh, 
Hmm. This is where, as a Christian, it becomes interesting because you're like, should she just do this grace of God thing, I forgive you thing, grace, grace, mercy, mercy? Or should she bounce? It's very difficult. It's very difficult because this is not supposed to happen. You see the turmoil this is bringing. You see the turmoil that this cheating stuff is bringing. It's not normal, you guys. This is not supposed to happen. There's people who choose not to be married. They choose not to be married and choose not to be devoted to one person. They're out here in the streets. Sad, wrong, I don't think it's good, healthy. But hey, that's some people's lives. But when you decide you are going to make a covenant before God, you're going to do this thing and seal the deal and then to be doing these things, that's what I have a problem with. That's what I have a problem with. You know, you need to be honest to yourself and to everybody around you. And that's just being disingenuous. Your own values, you have to have the grace of God uh, to break free from certain things, to stay away from certain things, um, to not operate from your lowest self, whatever it may be. So now he's talking about you need the grace of God to stay away from certain things. Let's hope and pray that this guy doesn't get caught cheating again because the next woman will surely be sitting out on wine with Tasha K, heck, Wendy Williams, the best place they can get TMZ, the Hollywood Unlock. Shoot, they'll be everywhere trying to blast him. This guy. He was in uh, so many articles all over the world, all over the world. Because you see, he has 700,000 plus um, subscribers. You don't know who's in there. There's people from all over the world watching this guy, amazed by this guy. He just sits in his car, seemingly no script, and just starts blabbing. And everything makes sense on paper. But is it what you're doing? And so yeah, it's very interesting. And he's saying all this, and I'm like, please do not cheat again. Because you're saying that by the grace of God, you're able to stay or one should be able to stay away from all this. But are you going to? Are you going to, sir? This is the this is the question. This is the question. Because God has grace. And you know, the grace is allowing you to walk around free without him striking you straight from heaven. That's the grace. And the, the, the what do you call it? The freedom. The free will. He's given that. Otherwise, we'd be robots on this planet. God has given us free will to... Just do whatever we want to do. You know that it's bad or good. He knows. Otherwise, he wouldn't be making this quote-unquote apology video. He knows that it was wrong. But he chose to do it anyway. Nobody forced him. Hmm. And it's because it's really only by God's grace that we're even able to be here on this video, holding hands. Oh well, like a year ago, <laughs> seven, eight months ago even, I couldn't see this happening. I thought it was over and I already had begun establishing my relationship with God. But that's the fruit of bringing things in alignment with God and the mess that's been made, the mess that's now being made public from last year and you know years past, that's a result of- Hey, this guy really sat up here and said years past. What has he been putting this woman through? Hey, yay, 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 yay. Is that not sad? That's sad. Wow, wow, wow. That means all the years he's been preaching to y'all, he was doing the complete opposite. This is incredible out of alignment with doing things God's way. So that's where I stand. Um, that's where we stand. And again, uh, we appreciate you guys and we'll see you soon. Peace. And then comes the peace with the biting his lip, which is a signature thing that he does here and there. I mean, you got to get the girls hooked. Out of those 700,000 subscribers, I wouldn't be surprised if 95% of them are women. Okay, maybe not that much, but a lot of them. Because, a hey, tall, dark, and handsome. Tick, 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 tick. You got it all here. Tall, dark, handsome, muscular. Well-spoken. Knows how to be in a good relationship. <laughs> supposedly. And stuff like that. You know. And yeah, here he is biting his lip. For who? For who to see? Is this a sign? Is this a sign? To any guys out there, is this a sign? Is this a secret sign? To make sure that all the women will be flocking to him in his DMs. This biting of the lip is more so of a... But y'all know where I'm at though. Come holla at your boy. That's what this looks like. This is scary. I don't see any humility. I don't see any sadness. Maybe they've just been through it so many years. But still, even if he did this mess for 30 years, the minute we all found out, blew his cover, surely... That should humble him and let him be like, oh my gosh. And we should have seen him very differently in this in this shot, very differently on camera. But no, this guy is so confident. 
He's confident about a lot of things. He's confident that this is not going to affect his money because there's always going to be people that are going to follow him. But maybe now for different reasons. And he's confident because his wife is not going anywhere. Look at her. Happy as can be. She ain't going nowhere. So he gets to keep his marital home, which is the stability. It's just there. Boom. And hey, maybe if the chance arises, he will be able to do whatever else in the streets. I hope not. But at this point, I don't know. And I don't know who to trust. And I don't know who, who is telling the truth anymore. And I feel like these gurus are just preaching to themselves. All these gurus, you hear them chop, 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 on these internet streets, they are talking and preaching to themselves. And funny enough, it's like somebody who talks to themselves, but uh, others can hear it and are like, hey, that's some good stuff. Put that on a podcast, put that on a YouTube video. And somehow they got lucky and they got really famous and popular. But um, I think we need to build our own moral codes and not expect to get a plug-in moral code from gurus. This is what people are doing. Quick fix. Oh, should I do this and that? Let me type in Derek Jackson and see what he says about this. Oh, yeah. My moral code has been uploaded to my brain. Now I know what to do. Please, people, be your own person. Because these people are not God. They are not to be put on a pedestal. <laughs> I don't know what else to say this is crazy but i have more videos coming on this topic because i noticed some other stuff in any case if you're not already part of the family make sure you hit bump stop as well on the subscribe button comment because i really want to know what you think like because you obviously like the video and hit the notification bell while you're at it i'll see you in the next video which will be tomorrow daily videos up in here in the meantime make time for glorious life it's time to start a what living it right god bless mm -hmm.